Howard's End is the name of an English country mansion, and in Ishmael Merchant and James Ivory's adaptation of the E.M. Forster novel called Howard's End, the house symbolizes everything that some people have and others want. The movie takes place in Edwardian England, and it concerns two sisters, their suitors who come from very different backgrounds, and the question of who will inherit the house itself. There is lovely period clothing, gorgeous cinematography, lavish and historically appropriate production design, and Henry. scrupulous fidelity to the literary source. Forster's characters embody his ideas about society, but they're also vivid, complicated, beautifully rendered individuals. So, you were that woman's lover? Did you put it with your usual delicacy? Yes, I was. When? When, please? Ten years ago. I'm sorry, ten years ago. There's Henry Wilcox, the embodiment of unwittingly cruel, solid, upper-middle-class good sense. He's played by Anthony Hopkins in a performance that's quite appealing in spite of some sinister undertones. The house has not been built that would suit the Schlegel family. Mm -hmm. It's no fun trying to help us. Fun? No, but it's a pleasure. And a privilege to do whatever I can for Miss Margaret Schlegel. Thank you very much. There's Samuel West, excellent as the pitiful yet dignified Leonard Bast. He's a man of modest means and modest aspirations, who's both rescued and ruined by the good intentions of the Schlegel sisters. I didn't think people like you existed except in books. And books aren't real. Oh no, they're more real than anything. When people fail you, there's, there's still music and meaning. That's for rich people to make them feel good after their dinner. Helena Bonham Carter is Helen Schlegel, impulsive and passionate and a rebel against social conventions. Everything's got spoiled for you, hasn't it? Bonham Carter doesn't emphasize her flirtatious, flaky aspects, but rather plays her with emotional directness and forthright sexuality. Margaret Schlegel shares some of her sister's passions and some of her ideas, but she's much more practical and thoughtful. She's the emotional and moral center of the story, and Emma Thompson's performance is downright heroic. Why can you not be honest for once in your life and say to yourself, what Helen has done, I have done? It's because these characters are so alive and so precisely drawn that Howard's End is much more than a period piece. I repeat what I said before. I did not give your sister leave to sleep at Howard's End. Now, do you understand? And it's because the movie is so completely about them that it succeeds in being about something much larger. It's about injustice, inequality, class warfare, and the hope for reconciliation. It's a costume drama and a biting social critique. Lynn. A stick of dynamite wrapped in lace. Also, this is Leonard Bast. This is for insulting the name of woman. No! Give me a stick. Margaret, a stick. We are perfectly capable of dealing with this. Stand up! Stand up. Stand up. Stand up.